<laughs> wearing funny hats and so much more. I'm good with wearing funny, funny things. <laughs> Well, thank you for being in the house of the Lord. Amen. There is there is power in his word, amen. 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 There's power in his word. Um, for so long I've grown up in the church. My dad's a pastor, a Baptist pastor. And for so long growing up, I didn't see the power in our family. I didn't see the power in my life. I saw glimpses of it here and there. I would um, go to um, conferences or I would go to um, camps, Christian camps, and you find this sanctuary, a time to spend with God, and you get so high, you go home, you're so excited, and then after a while, it dwindles and dwindles, right? And you think, and you can look at your family sometimes, you look at your own situation sometimes, you look at your own um, growth in Christ, um, and you think, where is that power, Lord, that you've told me about, that I know is there? I just, why is it that I don't experience it? Why is it that I don't see it? Why is it that I don't have it? When I speak, why is it that things don't seem to happen? Amen. Now, when the earth was formed, when the heavens and the earth was formed, it says that the Word was Christ. The Word came forth out of God's mouth, and it was done. And he said, we are made in his likeness, that we could say, and it shall be done. Amen. Um, amazing. We know this. We've been taught this, and yet sometimes it doesn't happen. I wonder why. Well, anyways, um, growing up with my, with my dad, I just want to share a little bit about my background. Not too much, but maybe you will relate to my story. My dad was bipolar. He was a pastor, but he was bipolar. Extreme bipolar, actually, to the point that um, there was a day where we feared our lives. You know? um, even my mom stayed with him um, till five years ago, and um, he had come after her with a rod of iron, banging on the bathroom, and all she could do was flee through the window and call the cops. That's all she could do. Now my mom, being a, such a devout mother, loving mother, and devote Christian. She said, Lord, if this is my cross, I will do it. If this is my cross, I will do it. And that's what she's always believed. So, come forward about five or six years ago. The doctors told her, if you don't leave, you will die. <laughs> if you don't leave, you will die. Why? Because her stress levels were so high that she would have epileptic seizures. They were so high, and she was so scared that she couldn't function very well. She started getting dizzy spells, and she started fainting. And, um, and here I am, not understanding why. But glory be to the Lord, because he has brought us here. Amen? Mm -hmm. And there's a reason why he's brought you here. And there's a reason why you are here today. Um, in my own marriage, I learned so much about my mom that I ended up becoming like her, even to her faults, maybe especially to her faults. And, um, and my marriage started going down the drain. Um, you know, and I remember when I was Three years old, I started praising and worshiping the Lord. So it's not that the Lord hasn't been with me. It's not that the Lord's word is not powerful. It isn't that his word is not true. 
It is that we don't know what we have. We don't know who we are in Christ. And that's where the flip happened in me about two and a half years ago. Um, so my husband and I, we were both Christian. I mostly grew up in the church all my life. My husband was saved when he was 18. So you could say he was a newly born person in Christ. I remember dating him. We would drive out, you know, along the coast in California. I was, I was in the military and I was stationed in California. And we would drive out and he would say things about the Lord that were just not anything I've heard. <laughs> and I thought, no, 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 you don't know what you're talking about, Tony. His name is Tony. You have no idea what you're talking about in my head. <laughs> no, you're just stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. You're a newborn Christian, okay? I know what's going on, okay? I know, because I've been in the church all my life, so I know. And yet he would sit there beside me, and he would tell me, hey, you know what? I read the Bible today, and this is what I found, I found out about this verse. And I'd sit there in shock. I'd say, where is he getting this from? So whatever, you know? And I kept saying, no, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know. Um, preached on to him <laughs> as much as I could. Um, anyways, uh, I fell in love with him. We got married, and it was a beautiful love, love that I've never, ever, ever in my life experienced. Um, our marriage started dwindling so badly that it was going to be over. And that's when I came here. Um, I knew that the Lord had a plan, and we had no idea what it was. Lord, tell us what is the plan. It's not like we haven't been trying. We've been praying. We've been reading. We seek counselors. We seek pastors. We seek so much out there. People tell us to do it, and we will go out and do it. So we did, and we were still in the same place. We would maybe make a little progress and then it still go. Have you ever had that experience in your life where you feel like making a little headway and then uh, you come back? Maybe a little bit more headway. Oh, this is going to work. I know it is going to work. And then uh, I'm still there. So that's what was happening, on, uh, happening to us. And so we asked the Lord, Lord, then what is the answer? We have always thought we knew what the answer was to our problems. What is the answer, please? I give up. Um, and if you can imagine, when you say, I give up, right? The angels sing, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. She's given up, you know? <laughs> and where before, I would think that that's such a weak thing to do. I said, I give up. I don't know. Do you not know? I don't know either. All right. Let's ask the Lord. Um, but at that time, we, we, we heard a pastor in, in, on TV. Um, but it's not the pastor. I will say this. Because sometimes we focus on who it is that's saying the word. And not what is said by the word. Sometimes we focus on the credits that the person has. Maybe the style. Oh, he's so good because he's, you know, like this. And, you know, he's cool because of this, you know. Or because he's, you know, um, whatever. Whatever style fits is fine. That's our personality. This is me. This is me. I go a little loud and then I come back and I go a little loud. <laughs> and that's just me. But instead of focusing on the who, let's focus on what the word is saying. Amen? So we found a pastor, and um, I will share with you what we found that day that I had not heard before. And maybe some of you have not. Or maybe some of you have heard, have not comprehended. Or maybe you have it, and it says to preach grace and righteousness abundantly, abundantly, abundantly.
abundantly. It doesn't say once or twice. Abundantly. Amen. So I'm here to share.